we switched our math curriculum. Today I'm going to share some thoughts on using ThinkWell for 8th grade pre-algebra and what we're going to use next year. And stay tuned till the end because I'm going to share a tip with you to save a little bit of money if you decide to try ThinkWell yourself. Welcome back to Regular Secular Mama. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Cassie and I am about to start my eighth grade year homeschooling my kids. They're currently ages 11 and 13 years old. Thank you so much for sticking with me. I know I haven't been posting a whole lot on YouTube and I wish I had more time, but life happens and I'm sure you guys understand. Uh, but don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and hit the subscribe button. There's also a bell you can turn on to get notified when I do post new videos. So basically our entire homeschooling journey, we have been using Matthew C. Um, since the very beginning, it was recommended to me from a friend who also homeschooled her children and she really enjoyed it and her kids really thrived with it. So we decided to try it and thankfully it worked out really well for both of my kids. They have used it all the way from the very beginning. I believe my daughter started with the very first level alpha because she had already done some kindergarten stuff and my son has used it since whichever one comes before alpha, I can't remember now, but there's one before that, <laughs> the red one, I think. Technically, there are people that say that it's not secular. Um, the, com the company, Matthew C, or what is it, Demi Learning, is not strictly secular. They do sell some products that are um, Christian, and I don't necessarily have a problem with that. It is an excellent math curriculum, and so I am okay using it. And I have never encountered anything in the regular levels of math so far that I had a problem with. Um, there weren't any sort of like, obviously biblical word problems or anything like that, it's just math. <laughs> so anyway, that's besides the point. We have loved Matthew C, but I wanted to try something else for upper level math. So if you're familiar with Matthew C, they lay a really strong foundation with um, separating out, oh my gosh, I'm totally blanking on the word, the functions of math. So addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division, um, and then fractions and decimals. So all of those are broken down into separate levels and they are taught to mastery. And I really like the way that was all laid out. There's a lot of um, review built into that, even though it's a mastery-based curriculum. Um, this isn't a review on Matthew C, but I just wanted to make it clear that we have loved it and it has been a very good math curriculum for us. And it did lay a very strong math foundation for my kids going into upper level math. That said, I had kind of heard some things about upper level Matthew C that um, it does go all the way through calculus, but it maybe wasn't the strongest. I Okay, I can't pinpoint exactly a, a source or a reason that someone gave for why the upper level math wasn't as strong. It was just this idea I had in my head. I think I'd heard it from enough people that I was like, oh, maybe we'll try something else that has a, a little bit more strong, rigorous, upper level math coverage. Not that my daughter is going into any sort of math based field when she's older, but it's one of those things that I would like to have it be really strong for them and they understand math really well anyway. So I didn't want to skimp on math, basically. The other big reason I wanted to try something else is that Matthew C isn't super teacher intensive, but I do still have to kind of go through lessons with them at the beginning of the week and there's still grading involved. Um, I've heard some people have their kids kind of check their own work with the teacher manual answers in the back and that works for some people and it might have worked for us, but I wanted something that was even more hands off for me because I'm working outside the house and my daughter, my 13 year old, uh, works really well independently. We have to do things together, but she prefers to work on her own and just get it done whenever she can. So I was looking at a different math. 
And I looked at a few options. I believe Denison was one I looked at. Um, conceptual, no. Yeah, something Conceptual Academy. I can't remember now exactly what it's called. But those were some options I looked at. Think Well looked like a really good, solid choice. And so I gave my daughter a couple of different samples to kind of look through and try some problems and see how she liked it. And she and I both really liked the way Think Well looked. Um, we liked that everything was completely online, all the videos for the lessons and all the grading for quizzes and worksheets and all of that. It's all done online. I don't need to have the books and I definitely don't need to teach anything. It's it's all contained in the um, the online, the website. So that was a huge selling point for us. And I also liked, um, I <laughs> also liked that if she did go with something that required a stronger math foundation uh, in the upper levels, that they have some AP and honors options. Actually, I think it's just honors options for math and then maybe AP for like calculus and things. And so we went ahead and got it. We got the online access, which I think is normally about 150 to 180, something in there. And that just gives you access to all the online, online stuff. That's all you really need. You don't have to purchase anything printed. I opted to because thankfully we are financially able to. Um, so I purchased the workbook to go with it that has all the worksheets and practices for each lesson and also the quizzes book. You can actually print out all the notes and some worksheets and quizzes and things from there. You don't actually have to purchase them printed and bound. I just didn't want the hassle of having to print it all myself. And the short version is that we loved it. Uh, my daughter is just now finishing up the very last week, I believe, of the math lessons for pre-algebra, and it's been such, such an excellent choice for us. Uh, Professor Berger is the man who teaches, I think, all of the math with ThinkWell, and he is a really great teacher. He explains things really well, and he's just funny enough to, you know, give you a laugh now and then, and we appreciate that, <laughs> but not so much that it's too cheesy or distracting, I guess. We have also really, really appreciated the whole online grading aspect to it. Anything that she does, the exercises for each lesson, all the quizzes and the chapter tests, they're all graded automatically right away so she can see what her score is. Um, it breaks down problems that she had, how to work through the problems so she can kind of see where her mistakes were. So it's just really well done. She can look anytime to see what her overall grade for the course is. This is the first time that she's had a course that's really graded completely as, you know, like a public school course might be. So that has been kind of an interesting experience for her and um, oddly motivating. She's actually kind of motivated by getting good grades. So that was kind of nice. But again, there was pretty much nothing that was required of me as the teacher, which was a huge burden lifted. Um, math wasn't especially difficult to teach, but you know, it's just one more thing that we had to try to get in for the week. We got a little bit behind sometimes with Math UC if I wasn't available on Monday morning to get that done. So it was just nice having it completely hands off. She was responsible and taking care of it on her own. And I just kind of checked in every few weeks and was like, okay, you know, show me your daily lesson plan and where you're at and how, you know, what's the plan for the next couple weeks? Do you think you'll get it done in time? So it was, it was good to hand that off to her and have her be more responsible for it. And we could kind of um, collaborate on it more. I pulled aside our workbooks and things so I can kind of flip through and show you what it looks like. I was gonna do like a top-down B-roll thing to show you, but I'll just hold it up and um, show you what they look like. So <laughs> it's um, seen better days. The com cover is completely missing, but this is the workbook that goes with the eighth grade pre-algebra, and it doesn't have the notes in it. That is a separate book for pre-algebra, but it does have all of the worksheets and things that go along with each exercise, and I believe the, the reviews for each section. 
One thing I didn't really like, and it was a super, super minor thing, is that on each worksheet, ooh, it doesn't actually say like which chapter number and section number this goes with, like chapter two, section one would be 2.1. It doesn't have those numbers on here. So we kind of had to like pay attention to the titles of these and the topics that were covered. Um, but other than that, this is great. Obviously it didn't really hold up super well, but my daughter's also very hard on her workbooks. <laughs> I, um, I'm actually covering most of our workbooks for next year with contact paper because didn't want this to happen again. And then this is the notes, the notebook. Um, and pretty much all of the notes that are in here are just kind of a copy of the explanation and the examples that he does in the videos. So you don't necessarily need this unless reading this is um, a better method for your kids to learn. So you could easily have them have this open and reading while he's showing the examples in the video, and that might be a good option. That's kind of why I bought this, but she didn't wind up looking at this hardly at all. Um, so, I mean, it is what it is. Now for next year, they have kind of changed the format a little bit for the way the workbooks go. I am not totally sure if this is a change that's going to be made in all the math courses, Okay, I wanted to jump in here with a quick update. I did confirm with ThinkWell that they are transitioning their math courses into the online platform called Canvas. Um, so what I have shown you is the legacy for version of that, and the workbooks are also being transitioned into this new format that you're about to see, where the workbook is combined with the notes and split into two volumes. So I just wanted to give you a heads up that eighth grade pre-algebra is now converted to the new format and their plan is to convert all the courses into Canvas and the new format. Um, but so far it's from eighth grade up that's been converted. But this is the big change is the workbook has the notes kind of integrated into it. And because it's so many pages, they've split this into two volumes. So for Algebra 1, this is Volume 1. And then about halfway through the, the course, she'll switch to the next book, Volume 2. And then let me see if I can pull up an example. Here's like one section, the notes that go along with the video lessons and the examples that he does. And then right after that section, is the worksheet that goes along with it. So it's all completely integrated into one book. I really like that because it's really easy to see where she is. Um, she's kind of forced to look closer at the notes, which I maybe I'm a little bit old school, but I, I think she should be looking at the notes along with what she's doing. And you know what? It's also just kind of cute that it looks like a kid's notebook. <laughs> I'll go ahead and include here like a screen share or a screenshot of the website so you can see what the online portal looked like for pre-algebra. Um, I do know that the portal for Algebra 1 is very different. I believe they use Blackboard. No, they use Canvas. Um, that if, you're, if you have ever took online college classes, a lot of colleges use Canvas as their online learning platform. I think that might work a little bit better than the, the website portal that they had for pre-algebra. It was just a little bit clunky sometimes. I was able to find everything that I needed, um, but sometimes I had to really think about where to look for it. I don't think I have access to Algebra 1 just yet because I have purchased the online access, but I haven't activated it yet. So I don't want to activate it and then, you know, that starts our 12-month clock. Now, I promised you guys a money-saving tip. So if you are interested in using ThinkWell, uh, now would be a good time to start keeping an eye on the website that used to be called Homeschool Buyers Co-op. And I'm not sure what they changed it to. I know they changed it and I think it might be Homeschool Buyers Club, but I'll include a link in the description below. And I'll of course link to the ThinkWell website so you can look at all their courses. Um, but definitely keep an eye on Homeschool Buyers Club or Homeschool Buyers Co-op because they frequently will have discounts and I think it's like almost half off of the online, um, the cost of the online program, which is a huge savings. It's like $70, $80 off of what it normally costs. 
and it's really easy to use. You purchase it through homeschoolbuyersclub.com and then you have like an access code and you can go on to Thinkwell and you know activate the access code whenever you're ready. So it was a really great option. I did that last year for pre-algebra and then I did it again this year um, to get ready to use Algebra 1. And when you purchase the online access, you have access to the course for 12 months from the day you activate it. So if you purchase the, the code, say in like February or March, it's okay because you just don't activate it until you're ready. It's been kind of nice having that 12 month access to the, to the online portion because we basically homeschool year round. We take lots of, um, lots of breaks throughout the year. And so this way we don't have to worry so much about when we're getting our stuff done and we can go at her pace. You can find more of my videos for all things curriculum right up here in this playlist. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you and I'll see you next time. Bye.